What's up guys and welcome to episode two of Tech Review Tuesday. Today we're gonna to be bringing you the DJI Ronin S first impressions. I've had this thing for about a week now. Um, haven't really gotten out and gotten to use it a lot yet. So today's gonna to be really like the first real world test with it. Um, I've balanced it several times. I played with it on the 4th of July and used it. And so I have a little bit of familiarity with it. Uh, but I kind of want to just introduce it to you guys, take you through it, and maybe help you make a decision on whether this is something that you want to add to your collection or not. So first things first, we got to get this thing balanced and then we're going to hit the trails and get playing with this. All right. <laughs> pretty forgiving so I'm gonna turn it on pull up the app and the app will actually give us a score as to how good of a job I've done balancing it so first step turning it on so you press the battery button once we see power up there ba boom and then oh no I'm sorry power buttons on the side Hold it down until all three light up. Doo -doo. Voila, it's balanced. Okay, now, okay, now you pull up the Ronin app and go into, I think it's under configuration. Uh, first we gotta connect. Configuration, settings, uh, I always have a hard time finding this. Here it is, okay. So configuration, settings, more, balance test. And then you'll see it'll start to kind of pan around on its own. Excellent, excellent, excellent. See, so even though we weren't balanced perfectly, it is good enough. All right, we're all set. Let's hit the trail. fishermen where I normally go so we're gonna go up the river a little bit further try to find another spot um, so a lot of the reviews have talked about how heavy this gimbal is they didn't lie <laughs> it is heavy um, for extended amounts of time you definitely need to two-hand it however with the way the tripods kind of set up I don't know if I'm too close here. Oh, watch my step by staring at the camera. It's a little bit more difficult. Um, anyways, so you do kind of need a two-handed, but the advantage is, maybe I can try to zoom down here a little bit. You can kind of prop your elbow against your hip and that makes it a lot easier to hold on to. Um, but I also have this on an A7 III with a 16 35 G Master right now. So that's already kind of like a heavy setup as it is. So if I put like my A6500 on here and a lighter weight lens, like maybe like the kit lens that came with the A7 III, then this would probably be a lot more manageable for a long-term thing however that's kind of the price of quality if you want something that's really well built and feels really solid it's it's going to be a bit heavier i mean that's just kind of the way things it the way things are so 
I'll take the weight so I can have the quality all day. Sorry if I'm a little distracted here. I'm looking for spots to kind of like get down to the river. So, interested to see how this footage turns out. Now for some reason, now when I'm walking, this doesn't seem to be drifting off balance at all. It seems to be staying much more constant, so that's good. Okay, here's another spot. I can try this out. tripod that comes with it. So for those of you who have any experience with the Ronin M, you know that you had to have that little stand and you had to hang it on there to balance it or to even just set it down. This has that little screwable tripod on the bottom of it, which makes it really, really useful when you're out shooting to just be able to set it down briefly while you change lenses or grab something else out of your bag or just take a break because it's heavy so I love that aspect of it the other thing that's cool is it's basically the same tripod without the extended legs um, that DJI has sold and used for like the Osmo 2 I want to show you my favorite move with this but um, I don't know sitting the tripod down I couldn't quite get the shot so uh, this guy in one hand, this guy in the other. So, double tap, level out, right? And then, we're gonna hold the trigger down. And go into under slung mode like this. So, okay, sorry, I'm not looking at the screen here so I can't see it too well. Uh, and then you can use this for those really low shots. I love this. using the motion lapse function motion lapse function to do it though I'm actually just using the uh, oh God, what's it called it's, it's just the track function on it so because if you go to the motion lapse it actually takes photos I don't want to do that in front to do video and just hack it quick and easy version my preferred route. So, we'll insert that clip right here. Alright guys, so we are just shooting one last motion lapse now. Um, but I'm going to wrap this video up because I'm getting absolutely eaten alive by these mosquitoes out here and I forgot to bring my bug spray with me. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm going to try to do a more in-depth review down the road once I have a much, much better, deeper understanding of the Ronin S and I'll watch some of the other reviews out there so hopefully we don't cover the same thing the other 100 Ronin S reviews talked about, which we sort of did in this one, so sorry for that. Um, but I'll see you guys in the next Tech Review Tuesday. Have a good one.